Hello and welcome to this new video. Today we're going to go through how to create new roles and add members. The roles are created at the account admin level. So just make sure you are there and then go to the roles tab. Here we can add any name for the role and permissions wise what we'll do is select the modules we want that specific role to have access to. For example, document management, project management, field management, etc. Here's where we select if that specific role should be a project admin as well or not. The modules that you have available in this area will depend on your company's BIM360 subscription. We can also see that there are two different kinds of icons. So we have the member icon and the admin icon. Depending on the access and control that you want to give that specific role, you'll select these icons for each of the modules. Here's where you can also remove any of the roles. Now, I'd recommend you add certain letters at the beginning of the roles to identify which kind of company is this role is related to. For example, if it's a main contractor or if it's a subcontractor or maybe the consultant, etc. So this is entirely up to you, but it makes the data analysis way easier later on. Let's add, for example, sub underscore engineer, which means it's an engineer from the subcontractor side of things. And we want to make sure that this role is a member of the document management, field management, and project management modules. We'll simply select them. And as you can see, now we have those three member icons. Now that we've finished setting up our new role, we can continue by going to the Members tab to add new members. Simply click Add and add new members to the members directory. You can also import the members from a spreadsheet. In this case, we are simply going to type the new email address from this member, Add, and then we need to fill out the company we want to assign that new member to, for example, PMCME, and the default role we want that new member to have. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll use a member already invited, who's Omar Deep. If we select an existing member, we can then edit that profile. In this case, we can see that he has a company that he's assigned to, but there is no default role, so we're going to click the Edit button and select the newly created sub underscore engineer as his default role. Click Save. Once we created our role and added a member at the account admin level, now we can go back to a specific project and add that member with the default role into that project. It's important to mention that you can also add members at the project level, but I do recommend you do it as a centralized account admin functionality because in this way there is control over the new members that are being added in the project, as well as being more effective when you have a specific person with the same role in, let's say, three different projects. Now that we are back at our project admin level, inside our BIM 360 Beach House project, we can see that there is only one member and one company assigned to this project. To assign new members, just click Add, Search the name or email of the member you want to add into this project, in this case, our sub Omar Deep. Then you click Add, and as you can see, because we already set up all the information at the account admin level, it will come up automatically. Anyways, here, you could change the role that he has assigned to this specific project in case he had a different role for this project, but otherwise everything is already there, the company, the role, the access to the different modules, so you would just have to click Add to Project. Now that we have our subcontractor assigned to this project, 
we can see that his company is also shown on the Companies tab. 